the We're winning this fight. Hey guys, my name is Exeter and today I'd like to talk about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and a new game mode introduced, One Shot. Now you guys have probably heard this before, but One Shot is a new game mode added to the bonus playlist and the bonus playlist also includes Infected and Atlas Scourge, which is a map that no one plays anymore and Infected is a game mode that people still play. But One Shot is a sniper only game mode with the Moors. The Moors is the only sniper rifle, really. But you guys have heard this so many times, you've heard the stats of the Moors, you guys have heard like how the gameplays work, you've heard that's a TDM lobby, you've heard people talk about pretty much every aspect of it. So I'd like to talk about something different, I'd like to talk about the impact of the game mode on the actual community. So you guys know that there's a huge sniper community in Call of Duty, everyone does if you play COD, because there's snipers everywhere, there's been a sniper community since the game first came out, since it's like, you know, been out since 2004, I think, even longer probably. But, you know, there's always been snipers, which means that there's always a sniper rifle in the game. They're never going to take that out. There's too many people. Even when there's a nerf, you see this with Vandahar. Even when he nerfed the sniper rifles, he started getting death threats, which all of them were probably open-ended and never going to happen. But, you know, security is really an issue when it comes to these types of things or situations. So the sniper community is very large, and they're very proud of what they do, or very vicious, depending on how you affect them. So... Um, if you actually play this game, you see now that one shot is massive. There's so many different lobbies at one time. Because if you search for a lobby, you can leave and join a new one constantly. And so there's never really an issue when it comes to finding a lobby for one shot. And that's just how many people there are playing this game. Now, at least that's for Xbox One. PS4, eh, I know the issues you guys are having, and I'm sorry. But that's what you get for buying a PS4. That's what people say, but I don't really think that's true. I mean, Sony, they've, have, they've had a lot of issues recently, so they're kind of broken pretty thin when it comes to fi fixing hack issues, so um, yeah. Now, when it comes to that, the actual game mode, like I said before, there's a lot of people playing it, which means that there's a lot less snipers playing normal game modes. Now, I'm not a usual sniper. I don't like snipe all the time. I'm more of a casual snipe, sniper, like I'm a casual COD player. Which means that I'm not the best at it. I'm not a huge quick scoper. Just from watching the gameplay, you guys can tell. I don't really quick scope, I drag scope. So, which means I have to see my target and I drag towards them if I don't see them. I move my sights based on where they are. I don't really quick scope and think I'm going to hit them every time. Just like right here, look. That's why I get caught like hard scoping a lot when I don't see them. I'm like, where are they? So, even that was more of a drag scope than it was a quick scope. No matter how like long it was. This was just like me waiting for him and sniping him. Even though there is no wrong way to use a sniper. Now, I would actually prefer people camping with sniper rifles over quickscoping, because quickscoping is even more annoying. The reason for that is because anyone can quickscope, and I say this with the largest of passions, but that's why it's so much easier to learn now, so people can be more effective at quickscoping. And that's both a bad thing and a good thing, because if you're playing against other snipers, that's great. Well, you know, annoy the other snipers. It's more of like a challenge. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm better at you, <laughs> like, you know, this thing. So, sniping is big now, it has its own community, it's always had its own community, now it has its own game mode to go with it, by a newbie developer to say the least. So, but there's still something else. The other thing is that what happens when people get so good at quickscoping, because they always snipe now, that they go into the other game modes and they start filtering over because right now there's not a lot of snipers in the regular game modes. But then what happens when everyone starts getting really good at sniping? Yeah, that's right, there's going to be a lot of snipers in regular game modes whooping your ass especially the noobs asses so it's not really that great of a thing after all because people think hey you know this is this is a fix to an issue you give the snipers their own gameplay or game mode but then what happens when the snipers go into other game modes with snipers exactly it's just not that good so what would happen if they were to take the snipers out of the regular game modes and put them so they just have their own individual game mode then that would also be very bad because they would get pissed they'll be like but what if i want to use a sniper in this situation like for search or something because then you would have to add a sniper to the search, and then it just gets difficult. So it's like a two-headed sword, or a double-bladed sword. There's the smooth side, where you think it, you're going to like not have to deal with all any of the situations, and you think you're never going to have to use that side. And then there's the sharp side, which is the side you normally use. But then it turns out that the smooth side is the one that's getting damaged the most, because that's the one you're using. So you kind of screwed yourself, didn't you? You put a smooth side on a double on a sword. That's just stupid. So it's it's really an issue. It is. And I hope that analogy kind of worked. I hope you guys understand it. I'll talk about it a different way. It's like um, preparing for the worst and forgetting the essentials. 
that's really what it is. It's like you prepare for the worst, and then you don't add the essentials, and then when you like actually have the worst coming, you're like, oh shit, I forgot all this stuff. Oh man, damn it. I mean, I have the food, but do I have enough? And do I have like toilet? I'm missing stuff. So, you know, it's not that great. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If so, hit the like button down below and subscribe for more content. My name, of course, is Exeter. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Peace out. And good. Bye. Now, I'd like to also say that um, I've added a new channel art to my channel, made by me, of course. And I've also made a new intro, made by me, of course. Now, the intro is a little bit la uh, lackadaisical. But I hope you guys actually enjoyed the um, new channel art, because I worked pretty hard on that, too. So, thank you for watching. Peace out. And goodbye. Even though it was pretty easy to make.